Hey YouTube, it's Roy. I'm a UI designer based in the UK and today you will learn how to design a website for a design agency in Figma with auto layout and variants. Designjoy.co which I think is really really awesome and what we try to do on this channel is practice. We're going to use the content the structure as an inspiration we're not going to do the visual design as much try and see things that you can reuse so for example we got a heading a paragraph a button some small text you can see again it's kind of similar you have a heading an icon text you have an icon a heading text or another icon they have a nice pricing section and again you've got a very common pattern of heading text button we're going to start from a blank canvas we're going to call this design agency and we can hit the t tool and we're going to start this differently and we're going to make a very quick type scale text hyphen base and the font we're going to use is i'm going to choose dm sans it's a really nice modern sans serif font we are always going to start with 16 which is the default web size and i'm going to duplicate this let's say seven times so well six times so one two three four five six i'm going to then do shift a and i'm just going to space this out by eight pixels so what we're going to think about is the different sizes that we might use and the inspirational site you can already see quite a few different sizes so what we're going to do is by heart because I've done this so many times and I like this process we're going to have extra small and this is the naming convention used by Tailwind CSS we're going to go here we're going to say this one the smallest one is 12 the next one is 14, 16, and then large, we're going to say 20, and then 24, 32, and then 40. And we probably have an eighth one, and this is going to be a really huge one. We're going to say 80. Nice. So now we've got a nice, simple, tight scale. We're not going to do line heights, we're just going to keep it really simple, but we've got a very simple type scale. And then we need to create these textiles, so we're just going to go in copy and we're going to click on the plus and just paste in the name. Did our type scale and we can change the order if we've done them in different orders. So base just needs to go there, extra small probably first. You can see on Design Joy is the button. He's only got one style of button, and we're going to do that very quickly. So we're going to go to the T tool. We're going to say button, but we are actually going to use the, let's say, large. And we're going to hit Shift A for auto layout. We're going to fill this. Let's say you want black. We're not going to focus on color too much. We're just going to keep it black and white for now. And we are going to then play around with spacing inside. So zero to that, zero that. We're going to say 16, 16, 32, and 32. So a nice and big spacious button create a component so command alt k and we're going to call that button cards or articles have a heading we're going to duplicate that and they'd have some text and i'm going to command d the button and shift and drag and then they have a button and then they might have some small text and also there'll be an icon so hit the F key just drag any size we're gonna say 80 by 80 we can half that border radius 
width to 40. So we're going to pretend that I'll be an icon holder. And now we're just going to very quickly play around with the hierarchy. So let's say the heading is, we can change this though. So let's say 32. This will be, yeah, let's say large. And then this one can be small. And we just want to then put this into an auto layout. So shift A. And I'm just going to name that, let's say card. And I'm going to command D just to duplicate it. Just so we have a, a reference. And then we can do command alt K and that is now a component. If you're finding value in this video, please hit the like button. We can hit the T tool and we are going to call this ready designer one. And this is something I've been using on a, a lot on the previous fictional projects. And we are going to make that, let's say we go large, going to command D that, drag it, and the first link, we're not going to use too many, we're going to have projects, command D, Oop. and we're going to have pricing, so not too many nav items because we're keeping it quite simple, and then what we can do is we can do shift A, we can have a spacing between those at 40, and then we can select both, we can do shift A again, and we want this to be spaced between, and the structure we're gonna use again is we're gonna say container, and we are gonna then say shift A, and then we now do section. We got that nice structure that we've been using quite a lot in previous videos. We remove the spacing between items, but here, we want an all round padding of 40. And we want a fixed size of 1440, which is the width of the frame size of the um, of the MacBook Pro. We're going to fill this with white so we can see what we're doing. And we then want the container to fill. So now we've got a nice and simple nav. Do something a bit different and we are going to use some of this here. We can hit Command D, we're going to go in and we're going to delete that and delete that. And what we want is we want this to be vertical and we are going to drag in the card. Let's see if it works this way. So Shift I and then the card. If I just click, okay, it can't go inside. Oh, it went inside. Nice, so it went inside the container. We click on container, we actually want it to hug contents. Beautiful. And what we also want is we want this to be zero and we want it to align in the middle. Fantastic. And now the other thing we wanna do is we don't need an icon for this, so we can just hit the delete key and the spacing we want is 100, 100, and then 40 on the left and 40 on the right. Great. But the actual section, we don't want any, any um, padding, so we just get rid of that. So actually, just very quickly, I did the padding on the wrong thing. We actually want it on the container, so 40, and we go back to section and remove that one. Great. So now we've got the padding on the container only. And here, I'm just gonna make up some headings, so, and a cat. Okay, trying to say something a bit different, even though I'm allergic to cats, so maybe, and a, and a pet fish, let's say. And if we zoom in, so that is the main H1. So if I go into this container, I want everything to align in the middle. And here we could say C pricing. And here, here we can be a bit more generous with the spacing between items. Let's say 24, 
or 32 let's say 32 and um, we can play around the width so we're going to be a bit fluid but you can see it, it is not being fluid so we can select let's say we select everything but the button we want it to fill container but when you do that we have to align them in the middle so here we want to then play around with the width of the card I think I think something around there with the cards there's a spacing of 32 with the component we got a spacing between items which is 24 there we go gallery section but we're going to lay this out a bit different we are going to do a grid of two by two so the way we're going to do it is we're going to hit the f key and we are just going to do a random size and we are going to fill this with a very light gray so this is like a placeholder for an image we're going to command d that and we're going to select both shift a auto layout magic spacing between is 40 we're going to label this row and we actually want both of these to fill container but the, the height will remain fixed so let's say we make the height let's just say 480 and this row we're going to duplicate that we, and then we're going to select both and we're going to do shift a but we want it to stack so now we quickly created a gallery and we're going to call this container and then what we want for each of these is to fill container now just to check the frames they're all filling containers great and then this container we want this to be within a section so shift a so here we call that section we get rid of the spacing and we want this to have a fixed width of 1440 and we want it to align in the middle but this we actually want it to fill container so now we very quickly create a fluid gallery the container we want a spacing of 40 on the left and 40 on the right and we can fill this with white great so now we very quickly created our gallery section which is also fluid so the next section is like a how it works section which is very common so you got heading icon text so let's go back into figma and if we do shift I click on the card we are going to have a icon and a heading so icon heading great so we are actually gonna keep three of these we're gonna delete the button zoom in and delete that one there we're gonna keep it like this so step one and we're going to put in some dummy text so command forward slash Lorem Epsom plugin you can install this and generate one sentence but what we actually want here is we want everything to fill container the two text items so fill container and if I just drag this out we actually want everything to align in the middle but these two they're not because we're making them fill container so we have to do text align like that great so we're gonna need two more of those if you're finding value in this video please hit the like button we're gonna command you this twice so one two we are then gonna go into each of these cards we're gonna say fill oh. we are then gonna do shift a We're going to call that container and we want them to be horizontal very nice and the spacing between of 40 okay great 
and in that we want to do another shift A because the structure is section we are going to fill that with white and we are going to make that a fixed width of 1440 and the container we want it to fill and we want each of these cards to fill container so now if we were to just play around with it it's nice and responsive so we just get rid of the spacing and for the container let's have 40 on the left and 40 on the right top and bottom let's say 100 and 100 so now you've got some nice simple spacing back to 1440 and what we need to also add is a heading so the way we're going to do that is we're going to bring each of these into another auto layout so this is like auto layout inception and then that is fine we're going to say fill container each of these have switched the fixed width so we have to make sure we fill container and the reason why we do that is we need to then have a text tool and we just say how it works but this one we're going to change the hierarchy to let's say 40 we want it to be outside and this one we need it to fill container Ooh, interesting okay so you got frame okay and we need it to be vertical and we need it to hug contents okay so this is going a bit crazy so we need the heading to fill container hug contents and we need this to fill container hug contents great and then the heading is going to be in on top so we can't really see it so we're just going to change the background instead to d d d d d d so if you don't want to miss the next part, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, leave a like, let me know how you're getting on with this project and I'll see you in the next video.